Hey guys, I'm Aaron, and this is SketchUp Square Run, where we take a look at the fundamentals of using SketchUp. Today, we're going to talk about stamping and draping with sandbox tools. So this is our third sandbox tool in the Square One series. The first two, we talked about creating a mesh. Then we talked about using smooth and add details to go in and add detail to that mesh. That's, you know, kind of how we got to, to this point, this thing we got back here. Uh, if you haven't watched those, hop back over in the playlist, check them out. Uh, this time we're gonna talk about how do we take geometry and use that geometry to impact those meshes. And there's a couple of reasons you might do this. Uh, the example we have is gonna be putting a roadway or a path along smooth geometry, but something like a foundation that's gonna cut into uh, maybe a topo map, something like that. Anytime you want, geometry is gonna drop down, sit in, or maybe just even intersect existing geometry, you can take advantage of these tools. Let's take a look at them. Okay, so like I said, I have this, it's a pretty basic mesh. Again, I have uh, hidden geometry turned on, so I see all the little dotted lines that are intersecting the mesh. I have not smoothed anything out, smoothed. Not smoothed with a V, but smoothed, where I could come in, grab all this geometry, and use soften and smooth to get rid of these lines. I'm intentionally wanting to see these lines, so I'm not going to do that. Um, it's something we could absolutely, of course, do. Uh, it's something we may want to do at some point after we've created our final geometry using these tools. Today, we are going to look at stamping and draping. So we're gonna start with stamping. So I have this, I don't know, this is maybe a little path that, that I wanna bring along the, uh, the hillside here. So maybe we'll, I'm gonna look at it from above and position this where I want it to cross this geometry. So it doesn't, vertical doesn't matter here. So I can take this, probably makes more sense to drop it down so it's pretty close to where overlapping and then I can move it around well, I don't want to necessarily go into that bump right there, but there we go. It's a little bit, so I'm cutting in a little here, and I've got, it's above the geometry on most of it. So what I want to do now is I want to have my landscape geometry uh, use this as a piece that it can push up to build up to a high, to a raised road roadbed or cut down into the geometry to create like a valley or, or a, a, a space inside. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm gonna, first I'm going to move it out of the way. So like I said, SketchUp is going to drop this vertically onto this mesh regardless of how high it is. So putting it up high like this gets it out of the way so it doesn't intersect. What I'm going to do then is I'm going to come over here and I'm going to click the stamp tool. And the stamp tool, since I had this my, my little road group highlighted, automatically gives me this red line. This red line is the offset. So this says what it's going to do is going to take my geometry as it is, it's going to stamp it into the, the contours, the, the mesh that I have created here, and then it's gonna create this offset, which will either slope up or slope down, or in some cases both, to this surface. So it's three foot right now. If I wanted more, I could say, let's, let's go a little bit bigger. Let's go like uh, five foot. All right, that looks good. So what it's gonna do, it's gonna drop this in, it's gonna give me a transition to the mesh that's this long, and what mesh do I want to intersect with? This one right here. It's going to take just a second to figure out how that would intersect, and there we go. So now I have an exact copy of that surface, and I can either have it slope up to, so I can build up to the roadbed like this, or I could have it drop down like this into my mesh. So obviously, I mean, this. I'm using the example of this kind of curved shape just because I wanted to see how this all intersected and show you that. Um, this might be different depending on what you're doing. If you're doing like a foundation, like I said, where it's dropping down to cut out, you may put your offset to zero because you just want to cut straight down and cut out. That works also. That works perfectly with this, this kind of thing. So that is stamp. What I'm going to do is I'm going to slide this over. I'm just going to move it to the, to the side just a little bit. So it's, it's kind of parallel to what I just put in, but it's not going to overlap any of that existing geometry and we're going to drape it. Drape is very different because drape won't actually move the mesh. Watch what happens when I do drape. So I have my, my footprint, the, the profile I want to drop in selected. I'm going to hit uh, drape and I'm going to click on here and that's it. Look what it did. All it did was it went straight down with every edge 
and figured out where it hit the mesh and it drew that. Why on earth would I do that? Well, here's 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 how I would here's why I would do that. So let me come in here first. I'm gonna come in here and I'm gonna select, you know, like that half. And I'm gonna go say soft and smooth that. View, turn off hidden geometry. Okay, yeah, so you know what? Let me let me just for this, just for fun, I'm gonna go ahead and grab everything and soften and smooth it. Smooth, smooth. I'm saying smooth now when I mean smooth. Okay, so there we go. So I have this nice smooth geometry. If I take this and I drape it on top of this, it cuts it. It doesn't cut it. Well, it kind of does. I mean, it actually intersects the faces with edges. So it is cut, but it didn't break the mesh like, like this one did. But what this lets me do, this is kind of cool because if I come in here, I grab my paint bucket, maybe all of this is like this nice green color. And then where I have my path is, I don't want to break it. It's just going to go over what's already there. But there we go. We do something like that. I do the same thing over here. Let's go ahead and go view, turn my hidden geometry back on. Maybe we'll fill that in also. And now I can go turn my hidden geometry off. Move this out of the way. So there you go. Pretty simple tools once you know how to use them. Stamp will drop down or build up to your profile, whereas Drape will just drop it right over the existing geometry and break it apart from the existing mesh without actually breaking the existing mesh. That's it. I mean, that's sandbox tools. A lot of people don't get into sandbox tools because they're concerned or confused or, or I honestly, I think the biggest problem with sandbox tools is people create a mesh and then they try to do stuff to the mesh from the outside of the group and they can't get in and use it. So they think, oh, sandbox tools doesn't work or it's too hard. Just get in there. Just double click, enter the mesh. Everything works, I promise. And one of the things that, that sandbox tools is a perfect example of this, get in and play. Get in and just start moving stuff around. Uh, it's a great way to learn. Go make a mess. Be like be a be a kindergartner and finger paint. Make a mess. You can't really hurt anything. I would recommend trying this in a demo job, like a, a job off on the side to play with. Don't start doing this on your you know production uh, landscaping job you have to work on. But do something off on the side. Play with it. See how it works dabble in the tools. And if you have questions, reach out to us on the forum, forums.sketchup.com. We'd love to help you answer any questions you have about using sandbox tools or any other pieces of SketchUp. If you like that video, go ahead and click like down below. And if you haven't already, please do subscribe. We create several videos each and every week and you'll be notified of all of them if you subscribe. Most importantly though, please do leave us a comment down below. Let us know what you think of this video, of this series. What more should we be doing videos on? We like making these videos a lot, but we like them even more when they're showing something you want to see. Thank you.